Hey you guys, it's your girl Maybe, and today I'm here with another hair tutorial. Today I will be putting on my uneven bob uh, purple and lavender and lilac color wig lace fronts. Um, first I put on the olive oil to give my scalp and hair some moisture. Then I put on the Gorilla Glue to kind of hold my hair in place in the ponytail. And now I am going to put on a stocking cap and that is used to make the part kind of look more natural because my hair is a little bit dark compared to the, you know, hair that would be on your scalp. So um, I put that on there so that way it'll blend in a little bit better and look a little bit more realistic when I part my hair. So I cut holes in the ears to that way it holds it down for you. Now I'm going to spray it with the got to be glued spray and let it seal itself. I'm going to blow dry it so then that way it'll be stuck to my head. I want it to be stuck a little bit before my hairline because I'm going to put glue there and I want it to be protected all the way around. I want my hairline protected that is. So now that I'm letting it dry, I'll just wait until it's dry and then I will cut the remaining part that I do not want on there off. So I'm going to go little by little and um, cut it off the excess that I don't want there. I'm going to make sure, like I said, to leave a little bit um, above the hairline because this is a protective hairstyle. So you want to protect your edges, protect, you know, all your hair, period. As you can see, I cut off everything that I didn't want there. You can see that I left a little bit above the hairline, as I said before. <clears throat> now it's time to go ahead and put this wig on and um, get it prepared for me to put the glue. Now, I braided it back, and then I, you can see I put the baby hairs back with a um, clip. It made it a little bit easier to have it out the way and to be able to see exactly where I'm going to place it. So now I'm gonna put the glue dot by dot along my hairline and where I want the hair to lay. Now, like I said, that's above the hairline. I'm not going to put, be putting any glue on my hair whatsoever. I will be doing this step four times. I will put it on, let it dry, put it on, let it dry until it's almost all the way clear. And this is what you do to make sure that it adheres correctly. So, you know, you dry it a little bit, let it go on ahead and get uh, sticky. This is the fourth time I did it. So now I'm going to go ahead and stick it to it and just do it. Can't wait till it's finished, watch this. So now I have the wig exactly where I want it to be. So now I'm going to go ahead and trim these baby hairs so I can go ahead and style them and be finished with this look. I'm going to cut each side at the desired length of where I want it to lay. I want it to look as realistic as possible. So let me know what y'all think about this when it's over. Um, do you think it looks more natural? Do you think the hairline looks good? Do you think the baby hairs look good? Let me know. Feedback is always welcomed.
This is the final step. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it, let it lay, go ahead and let it dry. I need the edges to go on ahead and secure themselves and lay flat and dry in the position that I want them to stay in. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry it and then as soon as it's done, I'm gonna remove it. Now I remove it, I'm undoing the braid. Now I'm finna style it and then after that, it will be the finished product. Look at this, guys. I love how many colors I did this hair. I love how I did it. I'm telling you. I don't ever like hair one same color. I like multiple colors always. Look at those baby hairs. I think that I did that. <laughs> I laid that smooth. Period poop. Thank y'all all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like it. If not, let me know why. Bomb.